joined the heart transplant waiting list in December 99 and waited eight months before I got my call. During that period, I went from feeling pretty good to life pretty much just existing. Walking across the room was a huge effort and stairs were even worse. Before the surgery, I couldn't walk, I couldn't speak, I couldn't eat. Only thing I could do was sleeping in my in my bed with oxygen tubes in my nose. I had to stop flying after these 30 years because I had an inflammation in my kidneys. So I had to go on dialysis for about five years. And after these five years, I got a new kidney through transplantation. I had an illness named pulmonary hypertension. Uh, because of the disease, I had to quit all my sports activities and even though I was still very young, I had problems with simple tasks like climbing stairs. Prior to transplant, I'd spent 18 months in hospital and was being kept alive through total parental nutrition, intravenous feeding. And transplant was both the scariest but also the most life-changing surgery I'd had, it, I'd had ever. A few months ago, I received my second chance for new life. I was double lung transplanted in General Hospital in Vienna, Austria. Now I can walk kilometers. Flying again as an airline pilot. I'm very happy here to fly and I'm very thankful to my daughter. After my transplant, I found myself able to walk up and down the stairs within the hospital within just a few days. Now, thanks to transplantation, I've seen my kids grow up, leave school and even have grandchildren. Um, I'm able to live a healthy and active life and I've even taken part in the London Marathon every year since transplant. Thanks to the transplantation, I am cured now. Uh, I can play football and tennis again, and best of all, I can enjoy my life to its fullest. Thanks to the brilliance of my surgical team, I now have a new life. Uh, I'm the CEO of a health technology company. We have an office in the US and in the UK, and I'm scaling up an invention that I built on the hospital ward after my transplant. So an intestinal transplant truly changed my life. No. I am enjoying life. I can breathe easy. I can run. I can ride a bike. I can swim. I have a full-time job. I'm so happy. But in our country, Latvia, we have no access to lung transplant because it isn't in state healed basket. Here in France, we have a great health system, a high-level medical corps with expert physicians, surgeons, nurses, medical research, but our French organization dedicated to transplantation is without resources, proves to be pointless without our personal approval to organ donation. I'd encourage everybody to carry, carry a donor card, whether they want to carry it in their wallet, there's a new app you can get that you can download a card onto your smartphone, make sure their wishes are known and at the end of the day it will be down to the families, but if your major wishes are known to them before if anything should happen, um, but then people are know where they stand and maybe somebody else and probably a few different people can benefit from that at the end.